So, here we are again. Another deer in the net. Yeehaw. Here I am. Just judging on how far you can swing back and forth. But, but with them being in the middle like that, it, it's a suck fest. So, sit back and cringe with me while we get this guy out of the net. A lot of people wrote comments in previous deer and nets that, oh, why don't you use tranquilizer? We 100% could, but with bucks and their adrenaline, it null and voids the tranquilizer. So basically, you would have to overdose the deer on tranquilizer. Yes, you'd get them out, but once the adrenaline wore away, without a doubt, he would most likely have a heart attack hours later. So. The stress is up, the adrenaline's up, just cut him out real quick, send him on his merry way. So that's the game plan, you know, when we face situations like this. But, I mean, as you can see right there, I was holding on for dear life. I'm not a big man. I'm about 145 pounds with some rocks in my pockets, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, if he was to the left or the right of the net, you know, you kind of direct him where to go. Basically, like if you're corralling chickens into a barn, goes with any animal, even small children. But if he was to the right or the left, he, first instinct is they want to get away from you. They don't want to come at you. Very rarely have I had one try to come at me. But um, you just make them feel like they can't take an inch. You have a small, very small window to make the few cuts you need to loosen it up or possibly get him out. So. The main areas of the net, like the thick rope, Twine in the antlers were successfully snipped, and now it's just trying to get him out of that. And there he goes. See ya. There you go. That's why my knife's dull. <laughs> 